Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, I just recently took my 6 star Omega Red to rank 2, and I looked back over my channel, and I saw a closer look video on Omega Red. It was with the 4 star, it was only a rank 4, and it was 30 minutes long. Well, this one's not going to be that long, but I thought I would make an updated video. So let's take a look real quick at his details here. All right, take a look at his attributes. Not too bad. And his synergies, he has some really good synergies. This Metal Mayhem gives him 4% critical damage for each Death Spore on the opponent. And he can get quite a few. Uh, I believe a max of 30 when his Death Field is active. So that's a lot of critical damage extra. Uh, you got X Assassins, 30% faster rate to inflict Death Spores, and 30% longer rate for Death Spores to be removed. You know, when you go a little bit further away from your opponent, your Death Spores are going to start dropping off. But with this synergy, it's going to take them longer to do that. And look at the champions. It's not bad. This first one, Colossus just got a rework, and I took my Colossus to rank 5. So that Metal Mayhem... Perfect. X Assassins, I have a Sabretooth. He's also a pretty good champion in his own right. So great, great to add. Seeing Red here, uh, we've got Red Skull and Red Hulk. Red Hulk is a beast. Uh, well timed blocks have a 100% chance to inflict one death spore up to a max of 30 spores total. So what that means is that you're going to be gaining those spores even faster. Because, of course, when you parry, that's what the well-timed block is, you're going to be close to them. So you're going to be adding spores just much faster. Very nice. And then, finally, this one, Deadly Presence. Look at that. You've got Mephisto and Void. Void, as you know, is a beast. If you don't know, now you know. Uh, the Death Field deals 10% more damage. That is insane. So he has some crazy good synergies. So let's take a look at his abilities. My six star is not awakened. So let's take a look at the four star. This is what his signature ability does. Death spores on the opponent deal basically more damage per second. This damage scales with base attack. Um, Omega Red's basic tentacle hits have a 30% chance at max sig to be unblockable. So when we say that Omega Red needs to be awakened, this is where a lot of his damage comes from. But he's no slouch, as you will see, even unawakened. All right, so let's take a look. He doesn't have very many complicated abilities here. Uh, he's immune to poison. Sometimes people forget that since he's not green, but he is immune to poison. And he reduces the damage of bleeds by 90%. Now, if you put one point in the Coagulate Mastery, that becomes 100% damage reduction. That does not make him immune, but he is no longer going to suffer any damage. And that's a very important distinction uh, because there are going to be situations where you will still pick up the bleed and you want to. All right. Um, Tentacle hits reduce 100% of damage inflicted by enemy abilities that deal instant passive damage when they are struck. So that's like Korg, for example, or Electro. Death Factor. While near the opponent, Omega Red inflicts one Death Spore every 0.5 seconds, up to a maximum of 10. All right. And once the opponent is out of range, they lose one Death Spore every 0.15 seconds. And of course, with that synergy, that is increased. So they'll drop off much faster. I mean, uh, much slower. All right. And you can see each Death Spore lowers their armor rating uh, and a chance to purify debuffs. That's important. Um, that helps a lot when you're fighting Korg, let me tell you. And uh, Death Spores struggle to affect mechanical opponents. So you want to avoid fighting robots if you can help it. All right, now while he is bleeding, he emits a death field. See, you want him to bleed so that he can have the death field. He is great with suicides because of this, because you have double edge, 
So right from the start, you're going to have your death feel active. If I did not have suicides on almost all the time now, I probably would not have taken him up to rank two as a six star. All right. And it will increase the capacity of spores on the opponent to 30. Normally, it's going to be about 10, but it goes up to 30. Heavy attacks, they're going to add a debuff to them, degen debuff, that's going to deal damage, and it will sort of lock in the spores that are on them at that time. So 10, 15, do a heavy. Even if you go away, it's going to stay 15 for a while, as long as they have that degen on them. And the degen lasts for seven seconds. All right? And you can see the special attack. Special one actually can do a uh, lifesteal, so he has some sustainability. Um, the special attack two, that's how you activate the death field after it's expired uh, for 10 seconds. And the special attack three removes all the death boards from the opponent and does an essence steal, which steals health and a little bit of power based on the number of spores you have on your opponent all right so that's omega red he is a very good champion so let's see him in action i decided to go into act 6.3 the final quest because there's a path in here that all the way to the far left is caltrops and we're going to take a look at that node in case you are unfamiliar with it you can see I already went down this path before I used Ghost. And while Ghost was perfectly capable of doing this path, let me tell you, I had an easier time with Omega Red for the most part. We're not going to do the entire path. Uh, we're going to go until I ran out of energy. So you can see here what you have to deal with. Plague Mine, Coolant Link, so you don't want to bring any robots. And, of course, Caltrop. So every time you dash back, you're going to get a bleed. Well, remember that he's not bleed immune. And when he bleeds, he activates that death field. So he is perfect for Caltrops. All right? So you see here, I'm just going in. And what I'm going to try to do is maintain those 30 spores. You see, once I got 30, I went ahead and fired off a heavy. So he's got a degen and those spores are on him. Now they're falling off a little bit here. So I kept a little close and my style is aggressive. So that plays perfectly with Omega Red's mechanics. So you see here, death field is gone, but as soon as I dash back, death field is back. Beautiful. He is perfect. I know that when I can get him awakened, he's gonna be even more of a beast. But as you can see, he's no slouch now. So I have changed what I say when people ask me, does he need to be awakened? If you are not running suicides, then I would say yes. If you're running suicides, then not so much. Obviously he gains a lot from being awakened. I mean, a lot of his damage comes from being awakened. But if you're running suicides and he's unawakened, he is still a beast. And hopefully in this video, you will see that. Uh, like I said, we're not going to go through the entire path, just a few fights. Now, these first two fights were pretty easy. They were easy for Ghost as well. Now, the tricky thing with Ghost is that when she phases, when you have the hood synergy, she takes no damage, first of all, while she's phased. And when she picks up a damaging debuff, then she will convert it to a fury. So that is great for Caltrops. She's going to do crazy, insane damage. You know, you dash back, you pick up the fury, and you just go to town, right? But if you mess up, if the AI reacts quicker than you were expecting and you end up hitting into their block. Now you have a precision buff up and you can't phase for a little bit. You have to hit them to get rid of that precision buff. 
So if you're not careful, you will kill yourself. And I did that before on this path. I wasn't paying attention and I went dash, dash, trying to phase, picked up all those bleeds, took me out. Now, this fight here, this fight gave me the most trouble when I had Ghost. I actually restarted twice because of this Ronin here. Don't ask me why. It was a combination of me not being familiar with his animations and what I just mentioned happened repeatedly where he reacted a little faster than I was expecting and I was caught out there with uh, the precision buff, did not hit him and just started dashing back, picked up all those bleeds and got wrecked. Uh, but next time I went in, it went a little bit better. But with Omega Red, look at this fight. Look at Omega Red's health. That's something I want you to really pay attention to. Omega Red's health throughout all of this. Remember, I'm running suicides, but he takes no damage from the bleed, but he does have a bleed uh, debuff on him. So that fight went nice, smooth, and easy. Now, that was the rest of my energy, so I said, no, I'm not going to keep going there. What we're going to do is we're going to go back into Realm of Legends, and that's what we're going to do to finish out this video. And this time, I'm going to do this fight a little bit differently. If you watched my rank up video, my last rank up video, you already saw him take down Winter Soldier in a little bit of time. But I'm not going for a fast kill here. I want to show you his specials. I didn't do a lot of that in that video. So, so far, you've seen what a beast he is on Caltrips node. And I want to show you why he is suicide friendly. And you're going to see that here. So I'm building up to a special three. And the special three has a heal component to it, as you heard earlier. And you're going to see it because right after the special three, I let myself get hit. Yeah, let's call it that. I let myself get hit. Uh, anyway, I get hit after the special three, but I want you to notice his health. All right. So you see here, he's gaining all that regen, right? And look at that. I'm getting hit, but look at his health. I went right back up to full. Okay. Because there's a little bit of time after the special three where you're gaining health after that uh, special three. So very suicide friendly, but that's not what makes him really suicide friendly. All right, so see here, I activated the death field again with the special two, because I wanted you guys to see that. And now with all those spores on him, I want to show you how I can freely fire off my specials. So one of the things when you are running suicides is that you don't want to fire off your specials because you're going to take all that recoil damage. But just look at this. Lifesteal. See, it went back up to 100%. And then, of course, the recoil kicked in, took down 5%. But look at this. Again, just look at how sustainable he is. So I don't have a problem firing off Omega Red's special one because the recoil damage is nothing he will heal up more um, especially if you have I believe the recovery mastery I think I have my maxed I almost always do um, I haven't looked at my masteries for a while uh, and sometimes I experiment but um, I believe the recovery mastery is maxed out so I'm getting a lot of health back all right so just keep watching now I wanted to fire off that special two again Activate that death field because I was trying to get uh, the fight done a little bit quicker than it was going. But something that Winter Soldier will do, and the AI I noticed does that a lot as well, they'll play keep away. When you have something like death field up or uh, some timer that you really need to get them, that's when they'll fire their specials and they'll do everything they can to keep you away from them. All right, but you'll notice I fired my special one off. And you see, he's got some bleeds on me. Doesn't matter. Not taking damage. All right. 
And I'm going to fire off another one. There we go. And just look at the health. And I'm back up a little bit. And boom, he is down. Omega is awesome, guys. So that's going to do it for the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, learned a little bit about Omega Red if you didn't already know, and answered the question in your own minds, perhaps, whether he's worth it, unawakened or not. Feel free to leave a comment below and let me know what you think after watching this video. So take care, click like if you enjoyed the video, and you all have a blessed day.